How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to make another video focused on the Arglade Saw, but before you go, oh, another one. <laughs> it's actually one that will make you a little bit of money. I guess it's kind of like a money-making one, because today I'm going to be talking about how you can AFK this boss and make a pretty decent amount of money with zero effort and almost no cost as well. So it's actually really, really useful to do, and it's something I do when I'm editing the background or something like that. And not to mention, you actually have the chance of getting the rare drops as well. So that's pretty damn awesome. Keep in mind, you could also 100% do this on mobile as well, if that's more convenient for you too, or if maybe you're already a mobile player. But we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about the setup and how it all works and stuff. And then I'll do a few hours of it, and then we'll take a look at the loot, and we'll see what we actually got. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, do leave a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. But otherwise, let's get going. Okay, so before we get into all the super interesting stuff, <laughs> um, you can see in the background here that I am doing the boss AFK. I do only have the one mechanic on. We'll talk about all that, but I am going to be timing the uh, instances by just the aura that I have active. I'll get in here, activate an aura, and when that expires, it'll probably expire the same time as the room anyway. But when that expires, then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll check the loot, and we'll uh, take a pressure from that. That's how I'm going to do this. But anyway, let's talk about uh, the setup that I'm using and setups that you could use pretty much. And then talk about how we can get you guys set up as well, so you can AFK this without any worries. Okay, so to do this, I would probably suggest you do have about 90 defense and 90 in whichever combat style you are using. Now, the reason I would suggest this is, at the end of the day, you are wanting to AFK this, and you are relying on your defense to keep your health up high. Although, in normal mode, you're literally absolutely fine just using Soul Split. Um, if you don't have access to that, you can use Vampirism as well. That works too, but you'll be limited to how often you can use the Vampirism Aura. So I would suggest having Soul Split, which is obviously 92 Prayer, plus having uh, the Ancient Curses unlocked. But at the same time, if you don't have that and you want to try this out, I've done it on the Vampirism Aura by itself. It does work fine, but at the same time, it is going to be just pay a little bit more attention because your health could sort of dwindle down a little bit and you may just have to ch quickly nip to the bank or just bring like one or two pieces of food with you. As for equipment and gear, what I would suggest you do have is I'm using tank armor because it just makes sense to reduce the damage. And especially if you do have lower defense, I would suggest just bring some tank armor. Not only that, it is uh, super cheap. Like, it is ridiculously cheap to have things like the Sea Singers. Or you could use Gano as well, probably, if you are using magic. And you could feel free to use the Animate Dead spell if you do have it, but you do not need it. And the reason I'm not using it is because I'm just using uh, Air Surge, which is a lot cheaper to use than if I was using any of the Ancient spells. As for range, I would just suggest either using things like Death Lotus, which you can buy off the Grand Exchange, or if you have Superior, then even better. If you don't have access to that, then just use Royal Dragon Hide. You'll probably be fine with that as well. As long as you've got Soul Split and Vampirism available, you'll be absolutely fine. As for weapons, I would suggest you do have level 90 in the combat stats, like I said earlier. So I would also suggest that you do have a tier 90 weapon. You could probably do it with less. I would probably say you could happily do this with things like a Shadow Glaive if you're using range or uh, the Wonder of the Square Elders and stuff if you're using magic, which is the tier 85 stuff. And I would say these would be absolutely fine as well. Probably you will do a little bit less damage and your accuracy here is probably not a big issue. So you don't have to have the tier 90 accuracy. So you could probably get a few other right weapons as well. But what I'm saying is I would suggest you do have the tier 90s if you have access to it as the more damage you deal then uh, the more health you're going to be getting back with through soul split or vampirism and obviously you have faster kills the faster you can do the kills the more money you're going to make you can see here i'm using the tier 95 weapon for the example a lot of you guys are probably going to call me out on that but i don't have anything else and i'm not spending my last scraps of money on a noxious staff and then losing money as well but honestly guys it won't be that many more kills per hour so don't panic too much probably like one or two more kills per hour by using this compared to like a noxious staff so don't 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 concern yourself too much you can also see that i am using a blood amulet of fury uh, but i do also have my cinderbane gloves if you have access to those do bring them weapon poison here is absolutely brilliant and and you could actually apply weapon poison before you come in it'll give you 12 minutes of that which means it'll be a, a little bit more dps for a while meaning faster kills for those 12 minutes you could bank then for the for the weapon poison but i don't know if that would be uh, worth doing and obviously it's a little bit less afk that way so that's completely up to you as for a god book i do have the scripture of jazz which is super cheap to maintain and keep up uh, keep charged with the freaking pages it's so cheap with that so that's why i'm using that and it is a great damage increase here as well if you have the when one if you have anything else just bring along any god book Book really that's going to help you out the cheaper to run the better though as this is an afk for money so you don't want to be spending too much costs and then as i mentioned i am just using air surge which is going to be super cheap to run but if you're using things like ascensions then just use ascension bolts super cheap as well and if you are using a melee setup then you don't need ammo you don't need runes you're fine 
Finally, I would suggest you do bring a Ripper Demon if you have access to it. If not, then just bring any other DPS familiar that you do have access to. But a Ripper Demon, and I would chuck scrolls in it too. I know that's going to push your, push your cost up a little bit, but honestly, the Ripper Demon carries here so hard, it is worth bringing along. In my inventory, I have overloads, I have a prayer renewal, and then I have spiritual prayer potions for my actual prayer potions. The reason I've brought those is because it will recharge my Ripper Demon's uh, attack, special attack thing a little bit each time I drink one of those, which will just mean that it can get a few more attacks off. It's not a big deal, I'm not too fussed about the cost on it, but if you want to bring along just super restores or even prayer potions, whatever's cheaper at the time, bring those along, you'll be absolutely fine with those too. As for an aura, I'm just using Majorat, but if you have, uh, if you have like Reckless or Maniacal, you could use that. You don't really need to. If you have Dark Magic, that'd be absolutely fine too. And then I'd say if you are not using Soul Split, you want to be using Vampirism. Uh, and you probably want to extend that if you're going to be doing longer than an hour. Okay, so moving on from gear, what you are going to want for a setup on uh, ability rotations is just any AFK action bar with Sunshine at the beginning, then your thresholds, and then your basics. Uh, sunshine or Death Swiftness or Zerk, whichever you're using, and then just have the thresholds, and then a, a basic abilities follow that. That way you will automatically use your ultimate as soon as you can, then you'll use your thresholds, then you use your basics, and it'll just be the, the best way to do it with DPS. I believe there is a wiki link that will help you set up some AFK action bars, so give that a search, and I'm sure you'll be able to find something there. So now that that's pretty much the gear and the setups and stuff done all you need to know now is can you get rare drops from this boss in normal mode doing this yes you can you can get them it's not going to be super common it might not be very common at all but with one mechanic active you will have a better chance than obviously doing it with zero mechanics and it's absolutely possible to get a drop in zero mechanics as well you could bring a look at the dwarves here as well to boost your chance but personally i don't see the point in it i don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal one percent really isn't that big but if you don't have access to something like the channel's ring that i'm using then i'd recommend just bring a look at the dwarves if you do have one you might as well it's decent stats and it will help you out with your drop rate you could use the pontifex ring the upgraded one that will give you troves which will be a tier two that'll give you a little bit more money at the end but at the same time i would probably say that if you are bringing that then it will be better just to bring a look ring all right so finally to get started what you're going to want to do is head here to the art glaze so at the moment you can come through the actual portal that'll take you to the new boss but once that changes next month you'll have to run through the city of centiston and make your way down through the glaze or front which doesn't take too long but it is a little bit of a distance once you're in the area of the uh, the boss entrance what you're going to want to do is at the top of your screen you'll have the setup option you want to go through that make sure hard mode is not ticked and then make sure you've unticked all of the mechanics except for the first one which is the flurry one this is the one where you'll have to prayer flick but in normal mode it hits so little that you don't have to worry about it whatsoever having this enabled just increases your drop chance by a little bit there's no way to know how much it does that by but i would say obviously you want to have this on because it makes no difference anyway and then all you're going to want to do is make your way into the boss and then head into the middle of the room stand literally in front of the boss directly in front of the boss about in the middle of the room as well so two tiles from the back and then what you want to do is just sit here and completely afk make sure auto retaliate is on make sure you are on the right action bar and make sure revolution is on as well of course and then just use an overload use a prayer renewal make sure your aura is active if you need to use the vampirism if not dark magic like i say things like that Majorat, anything that increases your dps is going to be great and then that's pretty much it you just want to afk here and then every time it's anything drops you can just use the area loot from the drop thing you don't have to move you can literally just click on the area loot and then that will stay open and then that way as soon as you get the drops on the ground you can just press space bar your character will automatically pick it up and you can go back to afk so you will have to pick up the loot when the boss dies which is about every minute i would say but at the same time all you have to do is press space bar and that'll keep you logged in as well so you've given action to the game you don't have to worry about getting the logout timer so just press in space bar we'll pick up your loot for you and it'll keep you into the game if you have a second monitor this is absolutely great if you have mobile you just tap the loot all option but other than that guys you're just going to be afk in here until the end of your hour and then you can go check your loot which is what we're going to do now all right so after the first hour this is what we're looking at we'll just uh, turn the book off here don't want to waste that too much the aura is done this is everything in the inventory let's just put away uh, our potions so we don't price check those by accident i think that's pretty much it yeah that's it uh the rest is all the loot and of course we just need to check here we've got 286k pretty much in cash so let's just put all of our money away too and take out 286k and we'll do a price check here but then we're also going to go sell the loot off because i know most of this stuff does sell a hell of a lot less than what it's going to price check out so at price checks at 4.3 mil but we did you also have to keep in mind get 305 blue charms 235 crimson charms and then these are the ones here we got a crystal triskelion which is um 
uh, a bit bit average we've got eight of these troves as well so let's open those and we'll see what the difference is so it was 4.36 and it's now 4.52 so those things were like what another 200k just just less than 200k so let's go sell this off uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see exactly how much we've made in one hour all right, so after the first hour, we've handed in our Triskelion key as well, which got us our elite clue scroll here. So in our first hour, we got 3.3 mil, pretty much. We got some uh, extreme ranging potions, which is pretty awesome to see. And then we also got all these charms. So the charms is kind of like a big part of this, to be fair. Like, that's a lot of charms for completely 100% AFK. 400 blue charms nearly is absolutely crazy. That's pretty damn good. And I'm wondering if you can use a charming potion to increase that. So I'm going to find out in the next hour, but... That's our first hour. Let's go and see the loot from the second hour. All right, so for this hour, we actually ended up making 5.1 mil. That is really good. 5.1 mil for one hour of fully AFK, not to mention these charms here. 281 blue charms, 372 crimson charms, and then, of course, the green and the, the, the gold, which we're not going to talk about that much. Um, we'll go, we'll, we would go open this. There's not much point, but it's basically going to be an elite clue and some gems, probably. So it's still pretty damn good. So... I think that was actually a hell of a lot better than the last one. We are going to leave it on the two because I feel like it's just not going to be consistent at all. But you need to keep in mind that you can also get the uh, the rare drops as well. So the fact that you've managed to get 5 mil AFK, all these charms for complete AFK, no effort whatsoever, is actually really, really impressive. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. But you can definitely do this. You can definitely AFK here for a decent amount of money, 3 to 5 mil an hour, I would say, depending on how lucky you get. And then if you do manage to get one of the drops, one of the books or something like that, you're going to be pushing that up a hell of a lot. Even getting just one Nihilus drop is going to be super useful as well, especially if you're going towards anything in hard mode. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you do manage to make some money while doing this. If you have to AFK while you're doing anything, like maybe you're at work and you want to AFK a mobile, it's a nice average of about four mil an hour i'd say that's pretty damn good considering all the charms you're getting too if you do need to get charms this is definitely a way you can do it and make some money along the way as well to pay for all the supplies so keep that in mind too don't forget to use your charm potion but otherwise guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you to my channel members for the extra support i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one see you later guys bye